<laughs> oh, it's a lot better, but I want to thank you, Mike, for making sure the rain stopped right before my live shot. But um, as you can see here, the water here started to recede, but it wasn't like that earlier today. As a matter of fact, some of the folks here that live on North Dover Road and the village of Tequesta, happy that you also stopped the rain because they've been dealing with it all day. Um, it didn't look like this earlier. Take a look at the video we shot earlier to show you exactly what they were dealing with. Lots and lots of flooding here on North Dover Road. Um, as a matter of fact, it was so bad. Nearby Constitution Park was closed to the public for the day. The basketball court completely underwater. We had to hop aboard a fire engine with firefighters to get down the road. Now, village officials tell me they've seen some flooding here after a hurricane, but nothing like this after just a daily rain event. But public work crews were also out here today inspecting catch basins to make sure they are, are clear of any debris and the fire chief says they wanted to keep everyone off the road because of safety. Part of the problem here today is that people are driving through standing water and they don't know how deep that standing water is. Now in some areas it's a few inches deep. In some areas it's a few feet deep and that becomes an issue for stalled vehicles and stranded motorists whenever you have a situation such as this. Now take a look at this dark clouds, heavy rain and lots of wind. It's what we've been dealing with for most of the afternoon here. Um, but the water, as I said again, receding now. No problems right now. Luckily, no homes were flooded here on North Dover Road today. Um, I did ask officials about the park, about when it will be open to the public. They said they need a really good one full day of no rain. Then they'll go and they'll inspect the park and they'll let us know. Now coming up at six, we'll hear from the police chief and it might surprise you to hear just how many calls for service they had to deal with over the last two days. Reporting live in Tequesta, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.